Are you looking for the perfect starting point to develop a new app project? Then use our Figma file and save countless hours building your own design system. Of course, you'll get free access to this file. All you need to do is download the file and upload it to your Figma dashboard. Let me explain what's included in the file and why you should start using it right away. Once you've imported and opened the file in Figma, you'll see this page. Let's begin by taking a first look at the left-hand side of the screen. Here, you'll find a variety of components that you can use to create your app. Let's open the first page, labeled Button. Here, you'll find a wide range of button styles. To show you how to use our components in more detail, we'll open the Assets panel. Then, we'll search for Button. Drag the component into your workspace. On the right-hand side, you'll now see options to edit the component. For example, you can change the type from primary to secondary or tertiary. You can also adjust the size with a single click. Or perhaps you'd like to modify the state of your button. Under the Label section, you can edit the text. Let's type audio into the button. The button's content updates automatically. If you need an icon in your button, you can activate it with a toggle click. For an audio function, a microphone icon would be a great choice. Simply type your desired search term and select from over 200 free icons. Lastly, you can customize the style of the icon. For this example, I like the filled style the best. And just like that, we've created a custom button component in just a few clicks, ready to use in your own project. Now, let's remove the button and explore the other components available in this file. For instance, there's the button icon component. This is similar to the button, but only contains an icon without any text. Or the button dock. This allows you to fix interactions at the bottom of your app screen. In addition to these examples, you'll find five more free components that you can integrate and customize. Scroll a little further, and you'll discover even more components. However, these are only available with the Pro version. At a certain point, you'll come across our free templates. Let's open the login page. Here, you'll find a collection of iOS and Android screens, available in both light and dark mode. You can use these as a template for your app if you're planning to include a login flow. Now, let's take a closer look at one of the screens. Naturally, these are built using the available components. This means you can modify them just as easily as the button component with just a few clicks. You can also preview all screens. This gives you a sense of how your final app will look. Additionally, all screens are designed so you can switch between light and dark mode with a single click. You can also toggle between iOS and Android with one click. In addition to the login screens, there are templates for a sign-up flow and a forgot password flow. In the Pro version, you'll find more useful templates to help you build your app. Beyond the components and templates, there are a variety of tokens available. For example, you can globally adjust the border radius, or define scalable spacing settings. Finally, let's look at the integrated typography system. There are a total of 54 different styles that vary in size and weight. Depending on the use case, you can switch between these styles. On the right-hand side, you'll find all the styles that are pre-configured. You can edit their type, weight, and size. To illustrate how to use these styles, we'll select the text tool and type some text in our workspace. On the right-hand side, you can now easily switch between the different styles. This is important for establishing hierarchy within your app. For example, headings should be particularly large to make it clear what section they belong to. Under the Local Variables section, you can open the menu where you can configure and edit all tokens. 
Here, you can adjust font size, font weight, or letter spacing. Next, let's select the Rectangle tool and create an object in our workspace. Under Apply Styles and Variables, you can choose from 100 different colors for this rectangle. These colors can also be customized and edited under Local Variables. Simply open the menu and select Colors. To change a color, click on the corresponding value and pick a new one. Let's close the menu and check out the next tokens. When you select the rectangle, you'll find a section called Appearance on the right-hand side. Look for Rounded. You can choose from various settings. For example, selecting Rounded XL sets a radius of 16 pixels. Now, let's copy our rectangle. We'll select both rectangles and combine them with Auto Layout. On the right-hand side, we can now define the spacing between the elements. We'll choose a padding value, like P16. This sets the spacing to 16 pixels. We'll also set the spacing on the left, right, top, and bottom to 16. Finally, we'll add a white background and set the radius to 24. And with that, this video about our Figma file comes to an end. As a beginner, you'll no longer need to start from scratch when creating a new project. Instead, you can rely on predefined resources. This will speed up the process of building your first app and save you a lot of work and time. So, what are you waiting for? Try out our Figma file and see the quality for yourself.